Hello YouTubers. Now in this video, I will be telling the example of Wi-Fi client events from files, examples into ESP8266 so Wi-Fi into Wi-Fi client events. So watching this video, you will come to know that this type of events are occurring inside ESP8266 whenever ESP connects to a host, disconnects to a host or tries to connect to the host but unable to connect and many more such cases. And you will come to know the uh, different uh, status according to different event. Uh, after that you will come to know what is typedev and enum and uh, how they are used in C++ language uh, that you all will come to know in this video. Then you also come to know how to find the local IP address of the ESP266 Wi-Fi whenever it connects to the host and uh, many more such things you will come to know by watching this full video. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the example of EA Wi-Fi client events. First of all, this example uh, may not help you to make any project because this example is totally made for debugging purpose. In some cases, uh, we find that ESP is uh, unable to connect to the host maybe for any reason or ESP uh, disconnects uh, due to the failure of the host or any anything happens inside the ESP8266 but we are unable to uh, debug it or we are unable to uh, see the response that what is what is happening inside ESP266. So for all that debugging purpose this code is used. This code will let you know all the events occurring inside ESP8266 in a proper readable manner. So this example is uh, written for uh, that purpose but it takes into account only two events that is Wi-Fi event uh, station mode got IP and Wi-Fi event station mode disconnected. So there are only two events considered in this example. So this example uh, may not uh, help you to understand this code. So I have a little bit edited the code. I have considered all the various events uh, which can occur inside ESP266. So I have edited this code and we will just open the edited version. Okay, so this is the edited version of my code. So let's start from the beginning. So first of all, the necessary declaration with ESP266 Wi-Fi.header file is included. After the SID name and password to which uh, we are allowing a ESP266 to get connected. That is our host or our router or our hotspot. So I have written as a name and password, SMS and SMS one two zero five five. After that, the here local function is declared, which is called uh, Wi-Fi event, uh, which is declared as wide Wi-Fi event, which takes the input as event, which is nothing but an integer value. So before going inside this uh, function or what is this function meant for, let the uh, move down and let's see where this function is used or where the function is called and what is the purpose. And after that, we will study what inside this function. So going to the void setup, void setup here default voted of a ESP266 Wi-Fi which is 11.2.0 and nothing new in this and after that it is written as Wi-Fi dot disconnect is equal to true. This will disconnect ESP266 if ESP266 is already connected to any other host. So this is just to cross check or just to confirm that ESP is not at all connected at this moment, after this moment. So after delay of one second, we are just calling this function called Wi-Fi dot on event. Now what is this function? Now you can consider this function as a handler. So when this function will be triggered, so whenever ESP8266 undergoes an event, event like connected or disconnected or uh, got IP address or uh, any, any such event is undergone by this ESP8266, then this function will be called. So this is uh, can be considered kind of handler or we can say trigger. So whenever new event is occurring, this function will trigger and what this function will do? This function will simply give response to Wi-Fi event which is our local function declared. So, so what this line means, whenever new event is occurring inside ESP266, just go to Wi-Fi event and just check it out which event has occurred. So this is the line which handles all this function. So this is basically an interrupt so we can uh, go ahead and do anything in our loop and uh, the Wi-Fi dot on event function will trigger whenever an event is occurring. So we do not to, you know, pull this uh, function. This is basically a handler. Then we have uh, written, we have written as Wi-Fi dot mode. So here we are setting the mode of ESP8266 to be in station mode intentionally because we need to connect our ESP mode to the host, to the router. So we are just uh, uh, configuring as a station mode. After that, Wi-Fi dot begin. Uh, this is the function which is used to connect our ESP to the host whose name and password is already declared above inside this code. After that, it is waiting for the Wi-Fi and it will just, just go inside this loop because this code is only meant for debugging purpose. Nothing else. No function is done inside the loop. So it is doing nothing. It is just sitting idle with a delay of one second. It is just um, what you can say stuck in the loop. 
because we are just looking for the status or what is happening inside the ESP8266 at different free events. So this is the code. Now let's move on to this Wi-Fi event. That's what uh, what are the events that can occur inside Wi-Fi uh, ESP8266? So here it will take the integer value. Now I need to move to the header files that will make you much much clear about what is this all about. Okay, so I will be attaching the link of this web page in the description, so no need to worry. Okay, so here it is written as type def enum Wi-Fi event. Now, first of all, what is type def? So type def, which stands for type define. Now, this function is used to give a variable a power to act like a data type. Just like if we write as type def integer and SMS. So SMS will now act as a data type called integer. So this is basically uh, defining a data type to a variable. So this is what type def means. And what is enum? Enum is like assigning a string into the uh, integer number. Just like here it is written as Wi-Fi event station mode connected. This is basically a string and which is assigned a value zero. Now this is done by this enum function. So and after that, as you can see, there is no number uh, defined for the consecutive strings. So it will automatically take the numbers after zero. So it's like the, for the Wi-Fi event station mode disconnected, the number will be assigned as one and for the next it will be two, three, four and likewise all the strings will assign an integer value. So if we are using the integer value or if we are using the string, both means the same. This is what the function of enum. So what we are doing here, we are first of all defining Wi-Fi event as the enum data type and after that, we are just assigning a number for starting from zero to all the events that can occur inside ESP266. So which kind of event can occur uh, in station mode, it can be connected, it will be disconnected, authorization mode, change, Wi-Fi wi got IP or if we are getting IP, sorry, uh, <coughs> station mode got IP, DHCP timeout and the station in the soft AP mode station connected, in the soft AP mode station disconnected. So these all are events which can occur inside ESP266 at different different situations. So let's move on to our original code. So as you can see, whenever any event is occurring, the Wi-Fi.on event function will uh, move our code to this local function which is Wi-Fi event and will assign an integer value like which event is occurred and the integer value will be assigned according to this series. So if so first of all, what will it, it will be printing as Wi-Fi event with percentage three, which stands for integer value and event. So it will first print the integer number of which event is occurring. So after that, the switch function is used, which takes the input as an event. Now, if you are uh, using, if you have used C, C++ language, then you must be familiar with this switch and cases. So what is happening inside this? The switch function will will take into account about uh, event variable, and according to the cases that event function will have just like if event function is having the integer value one now as i said that the one and wi-fi disconnected are regarded as the same so just it will just uh, check out the cases that which case matches with this switch function so wi-fi dot disconnect yeah this is matches with the event one so what it will do it will just print out this into serial monitor and it will break so it will just move out from this loop or what you can say function so this is what all about switch and cases so we are just comparing the integer value with the string and just printing out the uh, readable string onto the serial monitor. So if it is connected, the event will be zero and it will print out that Wi-Fi dot connected. And if it is disconnected, the event will be one, it will just print out that Wi-Fi disconnected. So likewise, all the status are displayed onto the serial monitor in a readable manner. So it is very much easy to debug that's what hap what's happening inside this ESP266. So this function or this program is solely for debugging purpose and after this here connection status which is another function is declared which is which will return a string now what is this function is meant for this is same as this wi-fi event i have also uh, opened this web page in which uh, different different connection stages are uh, defined by same type def and num function so if there is no shield then it will print out uh, so it will be defined as a number 225 after if the, and after that if it is idle status it will be regarded as 0 as no side available regarded as 1 scan complete regarded as 2 so likewise all the events are assigned a particular integer name by this enum function so here this is what we are doing the same which we did in wi-fi event we are using the switch case 
uh, in which we are taking the input as which which is nothing but an integer number and according to the number or number and string we are just printing out the uh, we are just returning a particular string now this string is displayed here in the serial monitor is connection status and it will just dot ctr will convert it into string so it will be printed as a string into a serial monitor so this is all uh, about this code then so let us upload and uh, see it in action i need to just press in. okay let's just open the serial monitor Okay, as you can see, it's still waiting for Wi-Fi. Okay, so first of all, the event zero is occurred. Event zero is nothing but Wi-Fi station mode connected. So it is just printing as how. Okay, as you can see, the next side is printing as Wi-Fi, which is event zero is occurred and which is nothing but connected. So it's successfully connected to our hotspot. And after that, as you can see, the event three is occurred. Event three is one, two, three. Event three is nothing but the got IP event. So it got the local IP. And as you can see on the fourth line, it is printed as Wi-Fi event three is occurred, which is nothing but the got IP. So ESP two six six successfully got the local IP address, and it is connected. So what happens if it uh, got it gets disconnected? So I will just uh, turn off the hotspot. Wait a minute. Okay, so in case the hotspot uh, fails or hotspot gets turned off, so it will be printing the event. So it is printing as event one has occurred. Event one is nothing but Wi-Fi station mode disconnected. So first of all, it got disconnected from that particular host, and after that, status three, which is nothing but uh, status three. Okay, so it is uh, error in this line. So it should be status six because. It is uh, first of all disconnected from the host, and the connection status is also disconnected. Here, the sixth status of okay, sixth status is Wi-Fi. Oh, sorry, WL is wireless disconnected. So both status are turned into disconnected. Okay, I need to see the monitor. After that, it is uh, uh, again when it try when it again uh, tries to search for that particular host, it found that the network is not at all available. This is the first status of our connection status. So here it is written as first is no SSID available because uh, no SSID available. That means that particular SSID whose host name and password we are written inside the code is not at all available. So this makes you much much clear that what is actually happening and why ESP is not responding or why ESP is not connecting. So everything is displayed in proper readable manner. So you can definitely go for this code whenever you want to debug your ESP266 Wi-Fi board. So this is it about this video. I hope uh, you got idea about what is this uh, example meant for and when it when it must be used or how useful this example is. Okay. So subscribe my channel if you haven't for such upcoming videos in this particular series. Till then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.